Gospel of February the 16, 2016, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, in prayer, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is a beautiful, beautiful gospel, as all gospels are. We have the Lord telling us, His disciples, when you pray, do not babble, do not speak a lot. It is not necessary. Your Father knows what you need, even before you ask Him. And then He goes on and teaches us the Father, the Our Father prayer. The first two words of the prayer are so beautiful that we could dwell in those two forever. Our Father. Now the Son, the true Son of God, the only begotten Son of God, tells you and me that we can call His Father, His Heavenly Father, and that is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, Father. It's incredible. It's so sweet that we can call God Father our Father. Now, he's, te he's teaching us not to call it my Father, but our Father. So that, uh, that makes us all brethren. And if we are brethren, and if we love our Father above everything else, if for nothing else out of that love for Him, we should love each other as true brothers, out of the love of the Father. We are telling Him that will be done. So, your kingdom come, come and be my king, that your will be done in me, always. Give me what is needed, and then this is the one that I want that I want to dwell in today. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. During this Lent, it is very important that we prepare ourselves to be forgiven again and again, for every day we sin against God. Even if it's only a venial, a small sin, we are always doing it against Him. So it is very important that as we enter into this Lent time, we prepare ourselves to be forgiven. And the best way and the only way to be forgiven is to forgive ourselves. It is so sad sometimes to hear people in their confession saying that they cannot forgive anyone. And I would have to ask them, why did you come at all to confess, to reconciliate, or why did you go all at all if you're not going to forgive yourself? Because then God will not forgive you if you don't forgive those. Many times we feel that what has been done to us, against us, is so incredibly bad that we cannot find a way or even the strength to say, I forgive you. Or many times we will say the words, but nothing happens and we still feel the hatred and we still carry that burden of hatred, that venom of rancor. If we could imagine the hatred, the rancor, as a sack full of excrement that is pestilent and that you carry on your back every day and from time to time you, you stand, stop and sniff it again and make you sick. You would throw it away. And that is exactly what I want to present to you. I dare you to follow with me. Think about one of those persons that, has, that have aggravated, that have insulted you. Remember him by his name or by any name that you want and say with me, person, I forgive you with the forgiveness of Christ. I forgive you in the name of Christ. And I ask of Him to make it true in my heart. Okay. 
Say it today, say it in the night, say it in the morning. And God will make it true in your heart. And after you do that, and after God has granted you forgiveness for those who had harmed you unjustly, for those who have done so many things that are bad on you, then you will be able to be forgiven yourself. But also, and foremost, two things that are very important. The first one is that you will live much better, that you, will, that you might even heal an illness that you have had. Because God will be healing you from within. And the best is that God will forgive us all and we will be welcome in heaven. Until we meet there, God bless you all brothers.